tough one, ain't you? Not a problem, sir. Darn it. Slow up. <laughs> Let's make this quick. That's a good price. This is a messy one. Get what you did here. I couldn't just pass by and let him kill you. My apologies, madam. Let's go. Who 
did. He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. How are you, friend? But raise your heart and give it to the King of Kings! <laughs>
myself. I think you'll be needing this. Help me out here, will you? Christ, it's on the Christ that was easy, cool. boy. They're still coming. Come on, let's clear out that camp. Watch yourself. Looks like they have some backup. Nice and steady now. Don't leave yourself open. some ammunition lying about if you need it. I'll meet you up on the ridge. If it ain't me, it's someone else. Yourself open. That bastard will be 
more. Follow me! Let's push on. Sounds like the deputies could use a hand. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's get as close as we can before opening fire. won't be rustling again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves. 
and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. I don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. <laughs> There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. I'll happily take this off your hands, my friend. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. oh. Let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. 
Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh. There ain't no quick draw contest left. But back when I was a kid, there was real money to be had. Down Brimstone Way, there was this one gent, I think his name was Mr. Kelly. Tall as a house and dressed like a lord he was, and he'd won at Brimstone every year as long as to be remembered. You got a handsome way of telling a story. Ended up getting shot, though. Yep, some stranger named Red took him down in his own darn contest. I'm sorry to hear that. You should write that down, friend. Goodbye. <laughs> 